Owen says that's OK at 12 minutes past seven during the Easter holidays, then so be it. So be it. So be it. <laughs> Canterbury has spoken to the head of the Orthodox Church in Russia, who I, um, I don't know, but I'm assuming has been strong in a place where he, we he understand. He certainly has. This, of course, from what I'm reading, is that Patriarch Kirill of Moscow and all Russia, who is, who is the leader of the church in Russia, has done the opposite of what the Archbishop of Canterbury, what you call Russia's great act of evil, church. And you've said that, you know, um, that uh, Patriarch Kirill, uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury, be in a position to challenge him on his faith, diplomatic and very, well, very careful language. Or is there a, is there a vigorous challenge yeah, between well, talking to the congregation, talking to people, trying to broker yeah. peace, that two men right at the top can have completely diametrically opposed well, view over something that's happening yes, in well, Ukraine? Let's, it, hang on, let's be clear. Be moving in the right direction. The urgency that the eco-activists have that they can see, yeah, which is required, actual protests and about exactly. the disruption. And, and, and I suppose what for some people, connect between understanding what you think it would have worked by now. Of course, I was talking to Refuge, the domestic violence charity last week. I spent do some work with them, but they obviously campaign to try and, and they're trying to get a register, like a sex. How do you put your energy into that? And is that, you know, do you find that hard to do? Record of his no. previous no. violence, was there? But it was it anecdotal. Was yeah. yeah. Men, the actual problem, you know, they're trying to get misogyny to be a hate crime and it starts somewhere. Mm. Other things, a general sense of um, a, a, a dislike of weeks, an enormous amount of education, doesn't it? Because the police and the law can do certain things. But that's after this idea of tell a woman to flag a bus down is not the answer, obviously. You know, it was roundly criticised. What is your view on what young men should be educated. Rude sentence, not to yeah. let her finish her sentence, it is, yes. I we thought. We never cut anybody off. Uh, we can never cut off Laura even when we want to. She never <laughs> stopped rabbiting on. But she says lots of interesting things to me. <laughs> Sahara dust really hangs around. I was looking out the window this morning when I was getting up and it's still red on, on a, there's an extension, flat extension roof off the back of my bedroom and it's still red with sand. Right, 22 minutes past six. Still to come on Good Morning Britain, President Zelensky's... That slogan, just stop oil. Isn't that just a wee bit simplistic? Anyway, we're going to get the news, the travel and the weather wherever you're watching right now. Vic Cope is here now with... Oh, had last stuff. week. Now still ahead on Good Morning Britain. Uh, you will know... OK, it's uh, 7.15. Let's get the news and the travel and the weather wherever you're watching. Uh, now, 17 minutes past seven, still to come. We're going... At about quarter to nine. You're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV. Uh, just gone 20 past seven. Now, President Zelensky says that Ukraine is bracing itself for a new wave of war in the south and in particular in the east of the country, uh, where Russia has been massing its forces. The Ministry of Defence says that Russian shelling has continued in the Donetsk and the Luhansk regions, with Ukraine forces repulsing several assaults, and that's resulted in the destruction of yet more Russian tanks, vehicles and artillery equipment. Our Chief Correspondent, Richard, get some weather here at home. Uh, hopefully some good news, actually, if you're on the Easter holidays. Here's Laura. Spring has sprung. Now, still to come, as we just said, watching Good Morning Britain. Now, the Archbishop of York is speaking out against the war in Ukraine. He's calling it an act of great evil. As Christians prepare to celebrate Easter, Stephen Cottrell. 48. Uh, still to come, blocking community. You'd be lucky to get away anywhere in a camper van or any kind of vehicle. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if you were around where I was at the weekend, there was queues and queues of, um, of people Possibly panic buying, which is what uh, some of I the people are saying. I didn't see panic buying, but I did see a lot of uh, people driving around. Yes, know? and of course, we've got 21 and a half million people on the road uh, this week for Easter. Yep. Uh, and of course, you know, there are lots of questions over whether there's going to be enough fuel for everybody. Obviously, the climate activists involved say that they need to bring an end to the use of fossil fuels. So are they in danger of turning people off that cause by these actions? Well, let's, uh, let's have a chat. Joining us now to discuss this. Four courts this morning is that things are getting back to normal. Yes. Uh, there's absolutely no need to rush out and panic by. Um, that, that many uh, petrol stations didn't have fuel yesterday, do have it this morning. So things are getting back to normal. Things are settling down. So we can all be calm about that. All right. It's um, five minutes past eight. Here's Laura with the weather. Very kind of you to say That's that. Very lovely. Um, Thank you very much. Just doing the old job. Uh, 7.37, you're watching Good Morning Britain. Now, the Archbishop of York is speaking out 